hi guys welcome back to ramadan day four so on ramadan day four i am making roasted grilled chicken for the family so this is me seasoning my chicken i added one spoon of butter i put it in the oven and then i added all my seasoning so here i'm already rubbing the seasoning on the chicken if you like you can inject your seasoning in the chicken but my i used to inject and then i rub it all over the chicken so i added um onion and um pepper here yeah, some pepper so here i'm going to marinate it and then in the oven so here this is what this is the outcome that is the outcome of the chicken and here i'm going to make some fries um, so I'm using this um, Supreme Fries. I love the Supreme Fries a lot. And here, dinner is ready. So break with us. So this is the chicken. I have some soya spice, you know, for the chicken. And then this is the uh, fries I made for the family. And then some cup of juice. So this is Ramadan day, day 6. So I skipped day 5 because um, I didn't make a video for day 5. So this is Ramadan day 6. I'm making ogi for the family. So this is me preparing my ogi. I added some sugar and then I'll be adding some milk right here. So also if you have watched my video, you will not, you'll see that I, I had, um, I made some moi moi. So this is the leftover moi moi that I'll be making. So that is Ramadan day 6. Ramadan day 8. Yeah, I think I skipped a video again. So um, I'll be making spaghetti for the family. Um, so I want to quickly give you a tips on how to make a perfect spaghetti without being soggy But this video is going to be a short video You need to boil your water add some salt and oil before you add in your spaghetti Make sure the water is already Boiling before adding the spaghetti not the other way around with that you are not going you are going to get a perfect spaghetti without your spaghetti being soggy so this is um me okay here the spaghetti is already getting ready it's already soft so while making this i already uh i already prepare my um i've already made my sauce so i'll be transferring the spaghetti right inside from the boiling water i'll be transferring it into the into this already made so sauce so this is the sauce that i made and then right here i'll be transferring it straight from i don't strain it i don't strain the spaghetti yeah because i want it to be very very perfect if you try making your spaghetti this way trust me you are going to enjoy and you will love it you love the outcome you might be thinking why i didn't remove the egg no i just i just want to do it that way so please guys if you have watched this video till this point if you have yet to subscribe please subscribe to this channel subscribe give this channel i mean give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you get all my video once i post on here please don't forget to subscribe subscribe give your girl a thumbs up i'm trying i'm trying my best to make make sure you guys uh enjoy all my tips so this is me serving my husband is um food and then we enjoyed the spaghetti myself i enjoyed it and my husband enjoyed it as well so let me know if you'll be trying this um tip and then i'll see you in my next video take care and bye